Now, let's see. Now I can see the notification um, is on now. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my study. Um, my name is Father Tamien. I am the vicar of the parish of St. George Enfield in Freezy Water. Warm welcome to, um, to all of you um, to my study for our, um, you know, the night prayer together. Um, if you are um, regular um, the visitors, you know what to do. <laughs> but if you are new um, to us, I'm more welcome um, to you. Um, you may actually see this video on our Facebook um, in the platform, but I know that there are some people who are actually watching this video on our YouTube channels and on other uh, social media you know, platforms. But in that case, that is not going to be the live, um, you know, um, the streaming, because we are, um, this is now Sunday, 10 o'clock. Um, so this is the time that we do the live streaming. But um, if you are watching this one on Monday or the Tuesday, yeah, that's the why. Okay, but anyway, in. I wonder whether you have, um, I think this is, this is on. I had a bit of, you know, an issue with internet connections. Um, if you could hear me and, and um, see me, if you can just leave a comment um, on your chat so that I know, um, that would be helpful. Um, let's go back to where I was talking. Um, today, um, we celebrate as, um, as a transfiguration of our Lord. And that is, as you know, Jesus took the three, um, you know, the disciples with uh, with him, and he went to the Mount Holy Mountain to pray. And then there, his you know appearance has you know transfigured, changed, and then you know, everything was become dazzling white, like um, you know the Moses face um, changed um, after when he came back from um, the um, um, from God, God's presence. So um, we thought about. Um, our mission, um, you know, the nature of um, transfiguration, and then um, because we are the one who are actually called to be the witness, that is one of the, um, the things that aspects that we um, you know talked about. So um, if you um, yes, the, the transfiguration that was um, you know short sermon, not short sermon I know, but you know. Um, that's the important thing. So um, I hope um, the Sunday sermon um, gave you um, some opportunity to think about your, um, you know, the faith, our faith, individually, also um, as a collectively. So um, tonight I'm going to carry on that um, that transfiguration for um, you know the theme. So when time comes for the um, collect for the main prayer. I'm going to use the main prayer, the collect, for the transfiguration of our Lord. Okay. Now, um, let us have a moment of quietness before we offer the night prayer together. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins and heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, may speed to save us. O Lord, may haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I'm going to sing our office hymn. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you his steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, 
from fears and terrors of the night, tread on the foot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Now I'm going to use the Psalm 79. O God, the heathen have come into your heritage. Your holy temple have they defiled, and made Jerusalem a heap of stones. The dead bodies of your servants they have given to be food for the birds of the air, and the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the field. Their blood have they shed like water on every side of Jerusalem and there was no one to bury them. We have become the taunt of our neighbours, the scorn and derision of those that are round about us. Lord, how long will you be angry for ever? How long will your jealous fury blaze like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the nations that have not known you, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Your scripture reading is taken from the book of Jeremiah. You, o Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I command my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So, dear my friends, um, as I briefly mentioned, um, I'm going to, well, keep the theme of um, the transfiguration of our Lord for this, you know, the company. So um, we're going to offer some prayers. We're going to concentrate on um, the things that we have learned um, this morning. So let us pray. Let us pray for the Lord, for the encouragement your son Jesus Christ was transfigured in front of only chosen disciples and then these small number of three disciples they've been waited until the right moment comes and when time comes the three disciples 
became the eyewitnesses for this event. We know that our Lord is calling each and every one of us by name. When time comes, give us strength so that we may also be the eyewitnesses to the world so that we may be able to share all the wonderful news that we heard from our Lord. We pray for each and every one of us as individuals, but also as a, as a church. We may see the glory of our Lord and we may have hope for the kingdom to come. We may always enjoy the message of hope and the future. We also pray for those who were near and dear to us, those who have fallen asleep before us and waiting for the moment of our Lord's second coming. They may be in, with, um, in the presence of God, may be in the eternal rest, May their souls can be saved at the end. We may be reunited in the kingdom. And finally, we pray for each and every one of us, especially for our hope, our prayer intentions, our petitions, and all the things that we have been praying for. If there is any particular issues that we have. May the Lord grant our heart's desire. My, may, may our prayers be answered. Father in heaven, whose Son Jesus Christ was wonderfully transfigured before chosen witnesses upon the holy mountain, and spoke of the exodus he would accomplish at Jerusalem. Give us strength so to hear his voice and bear our cross, that in the world to come we may see him as he is, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now shall we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. 
the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Um, before I say good night and then goodbye to all of you, let me just um, um, let me just go and then take this song. Where's my guitar? Oh yeah. Um, before we say goodbye and good night, we're going to sing um, one song, Psalm 23. I think this is one of our favourite. So you, I know most of you knows um, know the, the the lyrics. So we're going to sing this one before we say goodbye. The Lord's my shepherd, I'm not one. He makes me lie in pastures green. He leads me by the still, still waters. His goodness restores my soul. And I will trust in you alone. And I will trust in you For your endless mercy follows me Your goodness will lead me home He guides my ways in righteousness And He anoints my head with oil And my cup it overflows with joy I feast on His pure delight And I will trust in You alone And I will trust in You alone For Your endless mercy follows me, your goodness will lead me home, and though I walk the darkest path, I will not fear the evil one, for your Comfort I need to know, and I will trust in you alone, and I will trust in you alone for your endless mercy follows me, your goodness will lead. And I will trust in you alone And I will trust in you alone For your endless mercy follows me Your goodness will lead me home mercy follows me your goodness will lead me home before I um, say good night I'd love to actually ask you to do one thing for me. 
well actually not for me for for all of us um pick one song uh, pick one song or one hymn that you want to sing in the church okay um i know there is one hymn because i wrote it down uh, <laughs> i wrote them down on my whiteboard um the first one was um in the hills of the north rejoice that was someone's you know our friend michael's i mean a favorite hymn so so yeah so that is on the list and also um what a friend we have in jesus what a friend we have in jesus that is also um someone's you know the favorite hymn and um, she wants to sing that hymn when the time comes possibly in september or in the future so i think psalm 23 this, you know, Stuart Townsend and version. This is also one of my favorites, one of our favorites. So I will try to sing this one when time comes in the church. If you have anything, if you have any particular songs that you love, it doesn't necessarily mean hymns, traditional hymns, including the worship song, anything. Please leave that name of, well, the title of the song or the hymns on the chat. Um, well, not now, um, the later. Um, I may actually have another you know, survey or something, but if you just leave um, your, um, your favorite um, you know, music, hymn or anything on the chat um, here, um, even after this live streaming, or uh, if you're watching us on either you know, YouTube, just leave that as a comment so that I may know so that we can collect these, um, you know, your favorites, um, so that we may have to sing them. So don't just ignore that. Just let me know what is your choice. Okay. Now that is something that you can think about tonight. Anyway, so time for me to say good night and then God bless you all. And I will see you when I see you. I wish you all well and then have a wonderful week. Bye for now. God bless you.